What's crackling codelets? We're back and in this video I'm going to show you how to preview a static HTML website inside of the GORM IDE. So you already probably know how to preview like a node application, but what about, what about if you just have like a simple HTML website with some CSS and some front end JavaScript? Well, in order to preview that, you have, well, there's a couple different ways, but the way that we're gonna do it is with a simple HTTP server. That's a module that comes with Python and it's already installed on GORM. So you're basically ready to go to use it with one simple command. So first and foremost, we want to configure our preview URL. And to do that, we go up to project running URL and port. And then I already have one here, but for the sake of showing you what to do if you don't have one, which some of you may not, right here after URL, you've got this box. So just put something unique in here. And then the port is what's important here. Let's use 8,000 specifically for these static websites, and I'll show you why in a minute, and then click on register. And so it'll register, you can click on okay. Now, you're gonna want an HTML file. So I already have one here. You can right click on the main folder up here in the top left corner of your file tree, click on new file. It'll open up something like this, and then, well actually it'll ask you to name it. You can name it index.html, then click okay, it'll open this up. You can add the code to it. And here's really simple, it's just h1, h2, and a little bit of styling. If you want to support devsprout.io, then check out this Chrome extension that I created. You can add it to your browser with the click of a button, and then once it's installed, you can go over to udemy.com, and any time that you're thinking of buying a course, let's say you're just checking a course out, the extension will notice what you're doing, and it'll actually redirect you to the same course page, but it'll add my affiliate ID to the URL. So you can see here, it's added my ID to the URL, and now, if you do happen to buy that course, I'll make a small commission off of that sale. Okay, so we have this file. We can edit it, we can save it. How do we preview it? So to do that, you're going to want to go down here to the terminal area and run this command. So it's Python space dash M space capital S simple, all caps HTTP capital S server. So no spaces in there, simple HTTP server. And that's it, hit enter. It'll tell you that it's serving HTTP on 000 port 8000. And now if you go back to project running URL and port, and then just click on this URL that you generated, it'll open it up here and voila, there's the preview for our static website. And then you can go back over here. You can make some changes. So this could become like a paragraph and you can save it give it a second, go back over here and refresh the page and it'll update. Great. So if by chance you don't want to use port 8000, like let's say over here in project running you around port, you have like port 3000 or something like that. So we can do another one. So I'm just trying to make it unique, whatever. Uh, click register. Of course they want a port number, my bad. So 3000, click register. All right, so there's the one for 3000. Let's go ahead and open it up and you'll see connection refused because we're not running a simple HTTP server or any type of server on that port. So if we go back over here to close out the server, once you're done running it, you can do control C and that'll just keyboard interrupt and clear it out. And then if you push up with the up arrow, it'll bring back the previous command, which was the command to run this. And so control L just cleared out that whole area to make it easier to read. Now we have python-m simple HTTP server, but we want to serve it on port 3000. So do a space and then the number of the port that you want to serve it on, in this case 3000. Hit enter, you'll see the message saying serving HTTP on 000, uh, 0 port 3000. And then now if you go back up here where it said connection refused and refresh, there's your website. So that's how you view it on a different port. Now a little gotcha you might run into is I know that when you first create a node container, not necessarily any of the other containers, but if you're creating a node container with GORM, they'll have a file called main.js. I already deleted it, but I recall that like they had like a function called main or something like that, and it just did something like console log, you know, hello GORM, and then it got invoked. Something really simple like that. I can't remember the exact code. But I think the issue was 
if you ran your server from this directory static site preview which is the same folder that has the index.html file and the main.js file inside of it and then you went back over here and refreshed well now it's not doing it anymore but to let you know if for whatever reason you get the output of this right here whenever you're trying to preview your HTML file just go delete that main.js file that Gorm created automatically that happened to me I recorded this video twice now because I forgot to hook up my microphone and um, that's what happened to me the first time I can't replicate it right now I must not be typing the exact syntax they have but however it's initially hooked up that is kind of what happened it just like said hello Gorm instead of previewing the HTML file so what I did to fix it is I just went to that JS file they had created which you don't need and then I deleted it and once that was done then I was able to go preview my HTML site which at this point it seems to be working regardless but that's just a little uh, tip in case that does happen to you you won't have to ask about it you can just know how to fix it so that is it for previewing a static HTML website with a little bit of CSS and JavaScript or what have you and the command is python-m simple HTTP server make sure you do the spelling the capitalization correctly and then if you want to change the port of course you can do a space and then the port number and then when you're done, control C to close it, and that's it. Thanks a lot. We'll catch you in the next video.